Hey there, everybody. Professor Cloud here with our next episode of Professor Builds and Satisfactory. Uh, we are in the middle or maybe near the end of a complete rebuild of our iron factory and all of the things that come out of the iron veins. Um, we've done, I think it's now two floors or maybe even three floors of construction now with the miners down on the bottom. Then we've got the, the smelters and initial constructors on the second floor and then we've got uh, more constructors and assemblers up on the third floor. Um, I think we've got pretty well everything laid out. Now it's a question of actually getting the power in place and getting all of the production started. However, I kind of want to take a quick look at where things stand. And the reason that what I'm thinking here is we need to really start to focus on two things. One, clearing up the milestone that we're on, and then two, really focusing in on what needs to be produced for uh, the next tier or the, the next phase, sorry, the next phase. So let's go ahead and jump back into the game and let's see if we can start to plan some of that kind of stuff out. <clears throat> okay, so we've got, actually I guess it's only two floors. Well, three if you count you know where the miners are. I still do not have the, the second miner up and running yet, so that's one thing that I want to do. The reason I really want to focus on getting the milestone completed is, one, I want to understand how power can be better distributed, but two, uh, I really want to get, um, I don't even know what they're called, but the chutes that will allow me to go up and down to those higher levels a lot faster than using the ladders. Um, let's real quickly take a look and see how many plates we've got. We've only got 14. Go ahead and put these in. Okay. And then let's see what else I've got in my inventory. I can put some wood. That's actually not what... Oops. And we'll go ahead and put that little bit of mycelia in there. That's coal... Okay, good. Okay, we need 200 modular frames. I can make 98 right now. I don't have any in my inventory. I need... Reinforced plates and iron bars, of which I have quite a few iron bars. But in order to make 200, I need 240 iron bars. Okay, we've got that covered. I need 600 reinforced iron plates. That I do not have. And I don't have enough screws to make it happen. So, let me take a quick look. This I need to keep running for whatever's left in the... And there's still plenty left in these storage units. So. Let's get up top. Because all of this is, is basic materials. This is where we're making the big stuff. Okay. So. This is what's making the reinforced plates. This is making reinforced plates. So we got 55 in here. I said I needed 600. So I definitely don't have enough in my current inventory. All right, so we're, we are at least making reinforced plates. What I then need to make over here, I believe... Actually, you know what, let's, um... That's automated wiring. Um... I'm trying to remember what the name of those pieces of infrastructure are. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at automated wiring. I want to see what the versatile framework. All right, so those are stators and cables. I'm not worried about the cables at all. 
How do we make stators? Steel pipes and copper wiring. Okay, I'm not worried about those. I can probably make those myself. All right, what we need to understand... Yeah, so modular frames and steel beams. I've got steel beams being produced, and I think they're going into storage over at the steel production. But we're still going to need modular frames. We're going to need 1,000 modular frames. No, we're going to need 500 modular frames. Because for every 1 and 12, we're getting two versatile frameworks. So we're going to need 500 modular frames, which means we're going to need 1,500 uh, reinforced plates. So this is extreme. This right now, I've got... Well, I will have two assemblers. So what we need to do is we need to get power to all of this. Let me see where our power production currently sits. We are running one. 60 to 170 out of a total of 375. So we got plenty of power available to us. Let's go ahead and start running power down these to get these guys up and running. We also need to, of course, turn on the miner down below. Actually, you know what? Let's start with that. Let's start up. I really enjoy using the parachute, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Knowing that the production for the smart plates is gonna end up getting destroyed. Okay, so let's go ahead and run power from you to you. Okay. So we've already got power poles. These are the constructors. Let me get the smelters running first. do is I'm going to go ahead and get all of this up and running. Then we'll take a look at the power situation again. Okay. Now let's take a look at the power. Two ten. Two twenty. Two forty. So about two forty five at the top end. Okay. I don't think I, so. This is why I need to get the shoots. I cannot easily get back and forth up to the top row. However, but and I do love jumping down from my parachute. <laughs> I do enjoy that. All right. Let's go get power to the other side. I need a power pole here. Okay. And then is this really all that I need? Yeah, this is all I need. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that is now nothing but reinforced plate production up here. And again, I know for a fact 
that I am not running efficiently enough that you know I could very easily be running something else. But for now, I need a crap ton of reinforced plates. So let's go ahead and focus on that so that we can get modular frames produced and we can then start crafting. A at some point, I will start switching probably this set over here to take the reinforced plates that are coming from over here and start creating the modular frames because modular frames require screws. So I can take the screws that are coming out here or out of this particular uh, storage unit have reinforced plates coming from here into here and have this just producing um, modular frames. So that's kind of the thought process long term. Now, let me, while this is running, okay, I did. I couldn't remember if at the end of the last episode I had set up um, storage for the steel beams, but it does look like I did, so we're good. Yeah, so this is collecting steel beam, uh, not yeah, steel beams. And we got a couple hundred in here. So while uh, while we're thinking about this, let's go ahead and bring up the. No, it's. All right, let uh, it's not Roger, Stator. Stator is what I'm looking for. So stators are steel pipes, and. Um, copper wire. And we need those for the automated wiring. And automated wiring is going to require a hundred of those. So I only need a hundred. What I'm thinking about is actually setting up another tractor. And actually, real quickly, let me take a look at my power now that I've turned all the rest of that on. Two sixty-five, two seventy-two. Okay, we we've still got a, a hundred megawatts of, of coverage, so that's good. All right, what I'm thinking about doing is setting up this iron and bringing coal from the other side. I I don't know if it makes sense. That's the the one problem. So let me see, we would need another tractor and two transports. Yeah. So, <laughs> of course we need 35 modular frames. Why wouldn't we need 35 modular frames? That would allow me to go ahead and get steel pipes, put them into a storage, just like I'm doing here with steel beams, and then I can craft the stators manually, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, then we can put in the 100 stators, go up and grab a whole crap ton of, of copper wiring, and produce the necessary uh, automated wiring that we need. So the question is going to be... All right, I need 35 modular frames. Getting the cables is no big deal. Let me go get the 35 modular frame, or craft the 35 modular frames. I'm amazed that these are still producing screws. Okay, they are out of iron rods. They just need to move all the rest of them into here. Um, how much are in here? All right, let me grab 500. That's probably going to hurt my smart plate production, but that's okay. What is this, 35? All 
I need 3 times 35. No, I don't. It's a 3 to 2. I didn't realize it was a 3 to 2. So my numbers have actually been off the entire time. That's my fault. I apologize. Um, okay, I only need 35. So we, let's go ahead and get these crafted. <clears throat> okay. So... <clears throat> Let's now go run up and get cables. I should be able to craft one of the truck stations right here. So if I craft it, say here... Except for it needs to be the other side. Or even better, maybe here. I really despise. It just moves too quickly. The whole thing moves... The movement with a mouse is way too fast. It just jumps. Alright, you know what? I'm going to go up to the top of this miner here. The key, though, is I've got to keep it out of the way... the miner, so yeah, I'm going to have to put it here. Okay, so there's that truck station. So if I can bring the truck around this side, or maybe I can even bring the truck around the back, that would actually be faster. And I just realized I need, um, I need a Mark II miner also. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up a miner on the um, the third uh, coal vein that's over near where the power is being being produced. Oh, I was like, why is this storage unit here? I couldn't remember. I'm going to put these extra screws in here. Are these still? God, they're still running. Um, Alright, I need two portable miners. I can actually make the steel pipes myself. Because I've got some uh, steel ingots in my inventory. Steel pipes. And then I need more modular frames. All right, what do I need for the two portable miners? Okay, we already got everything that we need for that. Good. All right. <clears throat> now, the good thing is, is I'm going to be putting in more... ...power. But by the time I come back, I'll be able to tear both of those down. So that'll be good. Grab some cables. All 
Oh, crap. That's right. I actually have to craft cables. Hmm. Sorry, guys. my parachute <laughs> uh, where is it cable I was making some extra because I know I'm gonna need to wire things up I think that's everything. Okay, good. This is now done. I do not need this anymore. Or that. Or that. Or that. Okay, so now it's just running screws straight from storage. Excellent. All right, so that removed a little bit of, of power off of the circuits. Not a lot. I think it was 20 or 30 total. At some point, maybe after we complete this phase, I am going to have to really rethink how my... St oh, crap. That's not what I wanted. No, I don't want to drive the tractor. There's what I want. <clears throat> All right. Again, I apologize. I'm going to go get some more biofuel. Apparently, there is not enough in either of the stations. Nope. While we're here, we'll go ahead and get some smart plates. At some point, I'm going to have to start making biofuel again. At least for as long as I continue to use tractors. It does feel like they're going through that biofuel really fast. And, and maybe I'm wrong... But it does feel that way.
I wonder if you can blow these up. Do I still have explosives on me? I do. Don't they go in your hand? I know this goes in your hand. Yeah, I'm curious as to... Someone's so using... Alright, well, well, I'll worry about it later. So, the other iron deposit is over here. Let me stand up the miner first and get it situated. Stand. Hmm, let's put the truck station. Yeah, because I'm going to be able to run the, the miner directly into the truck station. I'm not even going to need a storage unit. I think I, I am going to run it into a storage unit, however, so that I can eventually maybe run an, any extra down for extra power. So... Storage... For now, it's just going to be direct, but I can eventually put a splitter right here, have one of them go into the truck station, and then one go down towards the, the power. I'll probably need to blow all of that up if I can, if I can remember how to freaking do the... No, it won't let me do a quick search for how to do something. And I don't... Uh, is it H? No. Yeah, I... Used to handle... Yeah, I, I don't know how to use it. Oh, I need to get power over here. I wonder how I'm going to do that. Oh, there's a power pole right there. Okay. So if I put another one here... Can I run... Oh, that one's full. Crap. 
All right, then I'm gonna need to craft another one, say, here. We're gonna have to remove you. There we go. Okay. And then we'll put another one right there. Okay. Now we need to stand up a tractor. Wrong direction, this way. Okay. So that's getting coal. I don't have enough fuel. It's putting all of it into the tractor. And I don't want to. Yeah, it put all 200 of it into the tractor, and I, I didn't want to, but it, it's fine. I'll live with that for now. Um, no, now we actually want to drive it. So we want to open the record menu. I want to... Start recording. Stop recording. I need to start it at the other side. Yeah, I need to start it at the other side. Because I think that's the problem. It won't allow me to start by picking up for some particular reason. Alright, well, this is fine. I do need to figure out, though, how to do... I, I've got to figure out how to do this. Um, shift LB to... Or double click. Alright, so you cannot equip it. No. Why is this so hard? I've I've used this before, but I cannot for the life of me remember Okay, I see. We need to put you here. Oh. Okay. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Well, then while we're here, let's go ahead and go do that for this middle one, too. Okay. 
Okay. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and make the tractor. No, I don't have... So what my plan is... Well, first of all, I'm going to go get some additional biofuel before I do anything else. running I haven't quite hit 500 yet so I was going to try and do two drop-offs, but I don't think the game's going to let me. So, tractor, other way. Nope, I had it right the first time. Alright, we put 200 in there. I'm going to put 200 in here. Okay. Open record menu. Start recording. That's not right. Does it just automatically know to pick up from there? All right, I'm going to stop the recording. hitting my other one. That's fantastic. Alright. Start recording. So I need to close the loop to finish the recording.
I'm trying to stay out of the path of the other... tractor as much as possible. Okay. So there's where we would load. Okay. Turn around. Again, trying to stay away from the path of the other tractor. And we'll turn around here. You can now save... So load path. Okay, enter the name of the path. Coal to steel two. Autopilot. Okay. Hopefully that works. We'll find out soon. I'm going to let that run. Oh, I don't even have power here. There we go. Um, I hope that doesn't make a difference. Or that that doesn't cause a problem. All right, let's go up top and check and see how many uh, reinforced plates we have. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. All right, well, then I can start to create modular frames. I should have enough to do what I need. Um... Another thing I'm going to need to do is start crafting some more biofuel. Whoa! Okay, so got another coupon. Let's grab that. Uh oh. Why? Oh. No, they're fine. The whole thing dropped. Why? Oh, the max capacity is... is fluctuating again. Why is the max capacity fluctuating? It lost the 375. 
Or it lost the last 75, the most recent one. Yeah, I guess they can't continue if the truck stations are offline. Okay, it's back to 375. Let me take a look at this one's... This one's not getting enough coal again. And I don't know why. It was before now all of a sudden it's not that's a mark one they Do I have... No, I need logistics. Okay, so there's no such thing as a Mark II splitter. The reason that I'm asking this is because it's starting to look to me... Actually, you know what? Let's do it up here. That... Look at how much is coming down these lines, and then... I mean, I know it's splitting. It's splitting into three. It's just not enough is getting to that last one. I think I know how I can fix it. I think what I could do is put a splitter here and have this one come into here and then over to there. Because this is the one that's causing the problem. I'm just trying to figure out... I think I'm going to have to take power down in order to make it work. Is there no way to... Stop power? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, um... Okay, so let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. 
This is going to cause problems. Okay. We need... Splitter here. All right, and then we're gonna go from here to here. Oh, that's hideous. Really. Let me do what I want. Yeah, so more is getting down to that last one, which is good. But I can't get any into here. The only way I would be able to do it would be to move this particular generator back further. Yeah, I, I knew it was going to stop, so that that's fine. Actually, hold on, I got an idea. So if we put it there and then put the splitter on it. No, it's going to be the same problem. Yeah, it's, it's saying that it's an overlapping another object's clearance and it's an invalid shape. Um, What about if I put one there? Okay, so there's that. And then we put one here, but we switch the input to... It won't let me put the input where I want.
There we go. So there's that. And then we go from here to here. And... Nope. Well, that's weird. Oh, that's right. That one's got an input on it. That may take care of it. It's not pretty, but I think it may take care of it. I'm like, what? Why? Well, none of them have coal now. Okay, hold on. I don't need this. That's really all that I need. I th think that might do it. Okay, I am not understanding why this is blowing immediately. Full of water, but has no fuel. It has no fuel because... This has fuel. Alright, then here's what we'll do. Oh my god, this is actually out of coal. Holy crap. I'm basically going to have to turn everything off to let the coal build back up again because I've let everything run dry. Um... Wow, is there no way to turn off the power to the truck station? Yeah, I'm I'm actually going to have to turn off everything. This is where I wish the power poles had power switches so that I could turn off entire sections for this exact reason. up and running yet. This is a ginormous pain, and I know it is, but there's not much I can do about it. Why have I got rotors? <clears throat> All right. We'll 
go up. Yeah, the key is to make sure that when the coal comes online, that they don't have to do anything. Oops. Because that's what's tripping it. When I originally built them, I built them alongside bio biofuel generators... So they were taking the load of the power while I was basically adding two, and then I could slowly remove the biofuel from the mix. The problem here is I let the coal power run dry, so there's no way for them to come back online when there's also an immediate power draw on them. So again, this is where I really wish, like, I could have gone down to the power pole down on the ground that, that feeds into all of this and just said, turn everything from this power pole off. But it's not the way things work, at least as of right now. Okay, I've got all of this over here. Okay, I think that is everything. Those are turned off. Those are just storage. All of that's running on its own power. Ah, uh, copper. I still have copper. I'm going to go turn off the copper, and then I can... I should be able to bring the power back up. I may go ahead and just disconnect the two truck stations as well. Because it doesn't appear that the truck stations... Oh, I forgot to set the other one to unload. Yeah, it doesn't look like the truck stations have power switches. Yeah, I've got unload. I meant to set that to unload. There we go. All right, that'll take care of that. All right, let's go up to the copper, and this will be the last thing that we do for the episode, and then uh, we'll have to pick up from here. Oh, I never noticed that before. That reddish moon kind of reminds me of uh, Darth Vader's planet. Um, starts with an M. I can't remember the name of it. I should be shot for that, being a ginormous Star Wars fanboy that I am. That's it. All right, where's a power pole? Right now, it's only showing 300. Oh, I just realized I didn't turn off the other coal miner. All right, why are we only getting 300? It should be 375. I can actually go grab this, uh, 
blue plug or blue slug. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, this one's not online. It has no... Did I turn it off? No, I didn't. So it's not getting any coal. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure that it needs a Mark II. I think it only needs a Mark I. What I think I need to really solve this problem is one of the industrial storage units that have two outputs so that I could actually run two different belts, one down either side. That would be the way that it would work. That would be the best way to, to make it work. Yeah, because this one keeps running out of power now. Yeah, so I'm fluctuating between 3 and 375. It's fine because I don't need the extra power. I turned a bunch of stuff off, but... Yeah, I'm gonna... I really need to get the industrial-sized storage unit. I want to make sure that this is actually filling up. It's not. So that's another problem. Well, I'm just going to have to live with it for now. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to wrap up this episode. Um, I apologize for this running long. I, I, you know, you can't anticipate when you're going to run into problems. Um, you know, I had plans for what it was I was going to accomplish building-wise, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything when it comes to running into potential issues. So what we're going to do is turn, I'm going to turn the smart plates back on and that's it and let them run out, you know, what's in the storage units. Everything else for right this second, I'm going to turn off, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and craft some modular frames between now and the next episode. Um, so, as always, if you are enjoying the content, please make sure to hit the like button. Please make sure to the subscribe button. I know this is probably a little boring, uh, especially considering the problems that we ran into, but I am really, really trying to focus on uh, getting through both the expanded power infrastructure, uh, 
milestone and really start working heavily towards the end of phase two. Um, so the we've got logistics mark three. Yeah, this is where the industrial storage container is. And I probably should have done this one first. Um, has two conveyor belt import input ports and two conveyor belt output ports. This is what I need over at the coal station. So run as much coal into this as possible um, from both sides and then run as run two different belts for the actual uh, power one down either side. That's really the way that it needs to work and you know it's I did the best that I could um, based on what I have. Uh, and then the other one is once we get out of probably logistics mark three is I got to have hyper tubes. It's the only way I'm going to be if I'm going to build up in any major capacity uh, like I, I have done with my iron production. I'm going to need the stackable hyper tube support. Uh, that's a really quick way for me to get up and down. It can be used for other things as well to get back and forth from from common locations. But it's also a great way to get up and down very, very quickly. Uh, rather than using ladders. So with that, I'm going to wrap up the episode. As always, I hope you've been enjoying the content. Hopefully, I will see you in the next episode. Talk to you soon.